before we show you guys number one, one thing you need to keep in mind are there sadly are no magic foods. You guys can eat whatever you want, and the key thing is portion control. You don't want to get things like this. You want to get stuff that can fit your macros. If you don't know what that is, I recommend checking out some of our other videos where we explain that in more detail. However, a lot of these foods are incredible substitutions to your conventional foods that you may love and enjoy that can be very caloric, where you can substitute them for the healthier version that's higher in nutrients and vitamins. And that's the key here, guys. It'll really help with satiety and it'll help you get results because they're even packed with more protein and stuff. So we're going to show you our top magic, non-magical foods. Number one, guys, we got Southern Out the Chippos, which everyone loves, whether it's a barbecue, snack, it's easy to grab chips and dig to the bottom, especially if you like to eat a lot of chips like me. So I'll usually go for this. Here you can get a full bag for a reasonable amount of calories. I believe it's just slightly above 400, whereas here a full bag is about over a thousand. It's a crazy difference, and these are just a lot better. They're rice-based, uh, they're lower in sodium, and overall, I just find they're an incredible substitute. And I don't know, it's really helped me kind of get, if I want to munch or I don't want to go popcorn, I want to make more flavor, head for the crispy minis. Macro hack number two, we've got regular bacon versus this one is the turkey bacon. The difference in macros is just absolutely insane. Like this right here for two slices is 22 grams of fat. The turkey right here is six. And you still honestly, in my opinion, for those who have tried turkey or chicken bacon, it still tastes great. You can get that satisfaction of eating bacon without suffering the consequences of like crazy amount of calories. Next up we got full calorie pop versus no calorie. A lot of people have their opinions about diet drinks. If you do, I really recommend watching a video where we compare high uh, full calorie energy drinks versus the no calorie. I really recommend checking that out. We dive into the chemicals and diet drinks and stuff like that. It's a great video to watch. Link in the description. But this adds up so quick. Per cup, if you're having 160 calories, it's easy to jam this whole thing, it tastes good, you suck it back alongside your other food. It's an easy way to add on an additional 800 calories a day, which is crazy, that's half of a lot of people's daily intake, a third of a lot of males' daily intake, I guess. And right away, this can add up. And an easy substitution to make is this. You're basically getting all the fun with none of the punishment. This is, this is free, this is zero calories. You can have as much of this as you want. So this alone is a huge change to make, even if you're really overweight make this one change cut out sugary drinks and you will see a difference okay guys and number five we've got some Powerade versus aminos which I don't have right now but um, honestly in my opinion this is just very pointless I think a lot of people playing sports think they need this for electrolytes in my opinion I would much rather just grab some BCAA's for five calories or whatever it is there's a lot of potassium in here a lot of sodium which you get from basically anything so in my opinion this is uh, like I said pointless and a good way to decrease your calories intake adding on to that guys a lot of people think chocolate milk is on some golden grail for like sports people or athletic people that'll really help you and it's high in calcium and it's so much superior to white milk which makes no sense because it's the same thing just with sugar uh, that's definitely been a bit more on the marketing side of things so they push that to you it's not even that dense in calcium there's a lot better foods you can get so I really recommend staying away from that as well because it's just additional calories unless it's something you really want to enjoy go for it but that's another easy substitution stay away from it it's not really necessary and it's not going to really help you with your healing. Next one guys is super simple, just make a conscious effort to do better. So as you guys can see, here's your normal um, taco kit, if you guys like tacos. Here is the smart one, a lot of the time you can purchase the, the smart whatever version, which will usually have less sodium, more fiber, and slightly less calories, which will really add up, because the fiber, once again, will help bond with the water to make you feel full, make you feel like you have better satiety again with your meals, which will also, in turn, prevent you from eating more throughout the day. It's just a super simple thing you guys can do to really make a big difference. Even with mayonnaise, go for the half fat versions. Try to make these small substitutions, and they will really compound and add up to big results. Right here. Okay guys, macro hack number six. We've got mustard and we have hot sauce. I can literally compare both of these versus any condiments here. And the macros just simply don't lie. Both of them are zero calories. So if you're someone that likes to put a lot of sauces on your sandwiches, 
your salads, like anything that you eat throughout the day, highly recommend substituting it with these two and you guys will reap the benefits of the low calories. All right, homies, we kept it nice and short because we got to crush the gym here. If you guys want to see that part two, be sure to smash that like button. It really goes a long way. Comment down below one food tip that's really helped you out. We're always trying to get the community working with each other where we can learn, you guys can learn, and we can keep these tips coming. Uh, we'll take some of our favorite ones and make a part two if we can get to, let's say, 500 likes. I know you guys can do it, so smash that like button, share this video if you can, and uh, if you guys are ever interested about macronutrients and it's kind of confusing to you and you're having issues losing weight or gaining weight or you see that extra push to help you reach your goals, we really recommend filling out the form down below. Basically, it's our online coaching application form. If you fill that out, we'll get in contact with you. We'll talk to you about what we do and if uh, coaching would be a good fit for you. That's definitely something we can arrange. So if you guys are interested, it'll be the first link in the description. You can just fill that out. We'll get in contact. Uh, we're looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks again, guys. Peace.